is Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday morning. Heading to practice like I do every other day. <laughs> Nothing really exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get to get my dresses that we dropped off at the seamstress. For Ashley's wedding. Ashley's my cousin, by the way, if you guys like don't know that, but yeah. She's my cousin, and she's getting married. Do, 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 do. No, no. Well, she asked you if you could meet Well, yeah, I greet people and I say hi. <laughs> and then I Welcome to Ashley and John's point wedding. them to the direction that they're going to. Now, I didn't want to do it at first because I was too shy, but not really too shy, but kind of too shy, but not really. And until I found out that Sasha was also gonna do it, and Sasha is my other cousin, and Sasha is like way not shy at all, and so she can do all the work, and I'll just sit there smiling. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Want to talk about the jewelry that we ordered? Our best. Oh yeah, we ordered. Um, we ordered jewelry from this nice Chinese lady. She actually lives in China and she makes the little beads like she makes them and then strings them together and then makes beautiful jewelry and she sending them she sent them yesterday in the mail so it's supposed to get here in three to five days and it's like just y little yellow pearls and I was like a necklace and then I got earrings also and they're like white they're yellow. Wait, did I say white pearls? No, you said yellow. Okay, good. And then it's like a yellow pearl, and then there's like a silver flower around it, but they're really pretty. We also ordered shoes. My shoes are yellow flat, I mean wedges, and they've got little yellow bows on the front. Peep toe. You know what that means? Yeah, they're peep toes. Yeah. Which means they're a little cut out in the front so you can see like your first two toes. Mm hmm. Got you there. Um, oh, and we also got bracelets. The bracelets match the necklace. What are you gonna do to your hair? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna go get it done, and I've never had my hair done by a professional. Unless you count Miss Kim <laughs> as a professional. <laughs> and Miss Carrie. Or Leah's mom. Uh -huh. And Miss Carrie. And me. It's Taco Tuesday, Ryan. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. You want to take us through what you have? Here. You want to give so, us a little tour? All right. So a tour of the tacos. All right. So we have all our shells right there. You get a plate, which is over there. You get a plate, get a shell. We have beef right in there. And then we have some rice in there with some tomatoes, I think. Yeah. And then we have our... Shredded cheese over here, guacamole right there, and then our fruit over there. So I'm gonna have a beef, cheese, and guacamole, or yeah, a beef, cheese, and guacamole burrito. We almost forgot the most important ingredient. Oh my gosh. Taco sauce. Oh yeah, we have taco sauce. But Brendan too. likes that. Yeah, Are you Brendan gonna have that on yours? I don't know, maybe a smidge. Okay. It's kind of spicy for me. I'm like really sensitive. Yes. <laughs> the spicy thing. But, so I'm gonna have a beef, cheese, and guacamole burrito um, <laughs> with rice on the side and fruit on the side. Bam. Pretty cool. All right. So, we'll see you later. Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. Blurry, 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 and focus. Okay, so. I'm in the car and I really have to go because I'm going to PT right now and I can't really, I was about to be late. I got four minutes and so I have to go, but I'm in the car and I just finished gym. What, what, what? Um, and I'm going to PT. It's physical therapy, just in case you guys didn't know what that meant. Give an update Ooh, on your heel. Can I get a bagel? Yeah, give an update. No, yes! they're closed, they're closed. Give an update on your heel though. How's your heel doing? It's fine. It is? Yeah. Oh, what does that mean? Just wanted a bagel. <laughs> I'm sorry. The store is closed. Right by you, bagel. About Subway. Actually, Subway would be really nice. I'm starving. It would be nice. So we're working on like space right now in science and like constellations and stuff. 
So today in science class we made this. It's called a star wheel. And what you do, as you can see, all right, oh wow, that's all of them backwards. Ooh, why luge is July backwards. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, but, so it has all these different uh, months on it. To figure out what constellations you should see that night. So, let's say today for an example. I'm gonna put the wheel on 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. September 20th. So now, in this little circle down here, so if you put your finger right in the point of it, that is what you're gonna see straight up. You just look straight up. And then the circle around here is the horizon line. So over here, you'd see that constellation on the horizon line. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go outside and test it and see if I see any cool star constellations. So unfortunately, it's a really cloudy night and I can't see anything. At least we're learning something that July backwards is why luge. I'm in the middle of a sentence, and then I was all like, well, I'm super hungry, and then I was all like, well, there's no point in being hungry and doing laundry, because being hungry while you're doing laundry isn't the way to be. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, you just can't do it. It's impossible. And so that's why I'm here right now eating my fast food meals. And not doing no your laundry. laundry on an empty stomach. Yeah, no laundry on an empty stomach. I think that's pretty good, Ryan. <laughs> Caution, may cause death, internal bleeding, or <laughs> <laughs> mucus out of the eyeballs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're making like the medicine commercials that they do. Mm -hmm. like, with all the side effects. 50 bajillion side effects. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Loss of Make balance. Cause. Green ooze out of ears. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Permanent <man>. bedhead. <laughs> we'll be the one. Make us <laughs> bedhead. That's so funny. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for doing the sweeping the floors. Kate's doing her laundry, <laughs> keeping the house speaking, well, not right now, filling her belly. <laughs> but I agree, I mean, if you can't do the best job, why do it, right? Exactly. Yeah, and you were probably feeling faint. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like... lightheaded. Oh yes. Frosted me. You probably couldn't even remember where things were supposed to go. Exactly, oh. I don't remember being too <laughs> That would be terrible. <laughs> and then you walk up to the pool one day, Oh my gosh, wait, no! Oh my underwear. <laughs> right, right. Oh my Brennan, uh, Ryan, I think that was pretty smart advice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll check back in when Kate returns to Londres with a full belly. <laughs> and no eternal bleeding. <laughs> exactly, and no green ooze coming out of her nose. Or permanent bedhead. It's actually <laughs> ears, but. Ears, that's it. Ryan sometimes has permanent bedhead, and I don't even think that's a result of doing laundry on an empty stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It just sticks up. But no matter how much gel and water you put, it just always goes like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a result of playing too good golf at a too young age. Oh, I think you're right. Yes, it's permanent bedhead. Mm -hmm. It's one of the side effects. If you want your house to be clean, and you want a big section of it, and all your nasty things are on the ground, all on a pile right there, ready to be sweeped into there, and going into the trash can, call 1-800-RYAN-SWEEP-SERVICES TODAY! <laughs> Ryan, wait, 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 let's just think about this. R-Y-A-N-S-S-W-E-E-P-S-S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S. Ryan. Oh, wait, wait. 1 800. Yeah, that's a lot of numbers. Hmm. Who has a 22 litter phone number? I mean, number. Me. I have to call Ryan Swimming Services today. Huh? If Ryan does a bad job, you cannot blame him once he pays the refund. <laughs> so the fine print on the bottom? Yep. Nice, Rye I mean, guy. You guys have heard, heard that, but okay. Mm. Mm. Kate. Oh, you honeydew lovers. Oh. Love you. Oh. Kate just dis discovered today she loves honeydew. The same. I don't love honeydew. But my honeydew. Nice. All right, we'll get you some more honeydew. That was a good fruit bowl, wasn't it? 
It really was. Maybe we should get that again. Mm. We, we should. What? Sorry. So you ate fruit and um, an orange. Good job, Kate. Proud of you. Ryan, I'm gonna put an orange in your lunch for tomorrow. Do you wanna make your lunch for tomorrow? Yeah. Eh? Ryan, right. you're already above and beyond. Get yourself higher. Well, I already did all the counter and all the sweet things. Exactly, above and beyond. Get yourself higher. higher. What has Brennan done? Do you think he's done? Oh, did you do the next door neighbor's lawn today? No. Uh oh. What? Wait, did he actually not do it? He was supposed to do it today. Yeah, no, no. And he was also supposed to do it on Monday, but he didn't have time to do it. Hey, you have a half day of school tomorrow. You can do it tomorrow, okay? okay. Make sure that's the first thing you do when you get home from school, okay? okay yeah. I, I, would have, I would go early. You would. I just read an article today written by somebody at Stanford University. I'm going Stanford. You're Stanford are not smart. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. yeah, be careful. Smart. No. But I went to Stanford and look at me now. When did you go to Stanford? Duh! I just graduated. Oh right, right, right. Remember our whole like entire anniversary, not anniversary. Anyway, actually, this article was more about. Actually, it was about. It cited a report in it that was done at Harvard University, one of the longest studies of people. Apparently, I hope I'm saying this right. They said that the the commonality that successful people had, and successful meaning, I think financially successful, successful in their jobs, successful in life, they, the commonality that they had, no, what do you think it is? No. What's the one thing you think that they all had? I have two things. You just describe me. Okay. And wake me up early. That's a good guess. Brennan, what's your guess? They don't procrastinate. They don't procrastinate, that's a great hey! guess. Wait, wait, right now it's Ryan's turn. What's your guess? Never stop at a task. They always get things done. That's a I'm, fantastic guess. I'm going around. They go to bed early. Okay, that's a great one. Yep. Anybody else? Or are we good? Me. Um. Okay. They do their laundry. <laughs> ding they ding do ding. Their, wait wait. They do their laundry on a full stomach. On a full stomach. Good point, Ryan. Actually, Katie's the closest. You know what that is? They found that the people who are the most successful in life had and did chores as a child, and the earlier they started, the more successful they were. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Seriously. Liar. Do you want to see it? I'll show it to you. Um, well, often, parent, uh, see, at Stanford, my studies mm -hmm. showed that often parents lie to their children to make them do more work. Nope, I will tell you that that's exactly what, is that exactly what they said. And, um, right, have that's what I said. I'll show it to you. I know. So I think that, so I'm not trying, I'm trying to tell you that that's a good thing. So, good job, Ryan, you're gonna be so successful. Yes, as a matter of fact, uh, trash is on Thursday. Ryan, trash is on What is your Um, I am pretty second. Why don't I just drop out of school and just do chores? That might make you very successful. I think that's a great idea. Do chores at your parents' house for the rest of your life? doesn't really understand my mom. She's totally kidding. About what I just said? Okay, time out everybody. I'm gonna show them the article right now. I'll be right back. Mom. Okay, um, ready? All right, yeah, so it? she's okay, gonna read here her Here's my article. proof. It says, a longitudinal Harvard Grant study, one of the longest studies of humans ever conducted, found that success in life comes from having done chores as a kid. The earlier the kids started, the better. When our kids are too busy to do chores, we eliminate the biggest factor for success. The Harvard Grant study also found that happiness in life equals love. Not passion, love. Love of people and love of human experience. If there's anything that we can do for our kids, it's to teach them compassion, work ethic, and the love that can be found at home. Hmm. What do you think about that? I believe. So most important. I believe it. One more time, work ethic? Yeah. And work ethic, work ethic comes from doing chores and that kind of thing. Having put it, having a responsibility around your home to contribute to the family and to feel successful after doing chores. I don't have any chores. I want to be successful. Actually, I do my laundry. I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. So think about that, though. You know, don't look at it as a chore. <laughs> look at it more as. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.